I can't believe Brooklyn's a WWE superstar now. I can't believe I have to be her partner. It's good she no longer has any authority, but it feels like she's even more ingrained in our lives. At least it's now legal for you to punch her in the face. <laughs> Again, I have to be her partner. It can't be much worse than teaming with Drew McIntyre. It makes my skin crawl every time I have to tag him. But you chose to team with McIntyre. I didn't have any say in this. It wasn't like I had a ton of good options. Look, all that aside, I just have a feeling this isn't going to end well for anyone. Well, at least I can still make the best of a bad situation and win some money for charity. Even though I can't stand my partner, I still plan on winning the Mixed Match Challenge. Same here. On both accounts. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Westbrook, Maine, weighing in at 245 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Justin Buzzsaw. Guys, this match is sure to not disappoint, especially considering who's involved here tonight. You're absolutely right, Michael. This match will be one we'll be talking about for a long time to come. Corey, given that the title is not on the line here, will motivation be an issue for the champ tonight? Absolutely not, Cole. He doesn't care if the title's on the line or not. He just wants to kick somebody's teeth in. It's the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun. From Fulton, New York, Brooklyn Von Braun! Brooklyn Von Braun may be abrasive at times, but there's no denying her lifelong athletic achievements. She was even captain of the wrestling team in high school, where the gym is now named after her. Have you seen pictures of that beautiful mural they painted in her honor? It would make Michelangelo jealous. Superstars return from injury with a renewed purpose, but Sami Zayn had the gall to say he'd rather stay on vacation. Did you see his live show, Saxon? Sami visited some of the most breathtaking parts of the world, and now he's got to compete in this awful town tonight. I can't even remember the name of this place. That's how awful it is. This happens to be one of my favorite places in the world, Corey. Doesn't surprise me at all. People seem to forget how beloved Sami Zayn was. Now all anybody wants to do is complain about him. Well, it's because Sami's changed. Sami hasn't changed. The world around him has. Ember Moon is on the prowl. From Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. Power 
agility, and a frightening arm. Yeah! Ember Moon is a legit threat here in WWE. The war goddess walks among us, and it's time to fear her wrath. See, when she says it, it's cool. When you say it, Saxon, it sounds like you're LARPing. Well, to say she looks ready to go here might just be an understatement. Yeah, Cole, she's been looking forward to this one for a very long time. And it sounds like this crowd has been, too. This is a historic night as our former GM, Brooklyn Von Braun, makes her highly anticipated in-ring debut in WWE, replacing the injured Ronda Rousey. I still can't believe Brooklyn and Trey are partners. I mean, talk about an unlikely pairing. They've been at each other's throats for like 20 years. Well, we'll have to see if their adversarial pass affects the American hero's ability to work together in the Mix Match Challenge. Well, I guess Brooklyn came up with that team name. Real creative. Hey, at least it's not as bad as their opponents who call themselves the Moons over my Sammy. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I bet you do. Saw that one coming. Flashback! She is just dominant right now. She's fighting hard and it is paying off. And it's Ember Moon finding the answer. The fall away slam. She is just too quick. Got out of the way in a hurry. Producing a trampling. Elbow drop. Elbow drop. That'll turn your lights out. Ooh, nasty impact. Right off the apron. Oh, no. Right to the kidneys from behind. Gets out of the way. And fast. What a suplex. She wants to finish this. She wants it one more time. That hit the spot. She's finished. Jeez, I don't like Ember Moon's chances in this one. Tilt the world. Oh, trying to get the pin. Well scouted reversal there. He's one step ahead there. Great technical know how on display. Saw what he had in mind there. Now watch this. And Sami Zayn reverses it. Not much more can be endured, I think, here for Sami Zayn. Yeah, things look bleak right now. Sami Zayn needs to dig down deep as he's done so many times in the past. Well, hinder your modeling career. Pedigree! Pedigree! That's his go-to move. Can he finish? Wait a second, it appears Brooklyn wants Trey to attempt the same double-team maneuver that injured Ronda Rousey. Is she trying to prove she could do it better? I don't know, but it looks like Trey's not quite sure about this after what happened to Ronda. Perfect execution by the American heroes. 
An impressive win for the new team of Trey and Brooklyn Von Braun. I'm still not sure what to think about these two teaming. It's very strange. It looks like Trey's still trying to get used to it as well. I told you guys a hundred times, Brooklyn's a professional. She likes winning much more than she dislikes Trey. And here comes Trey's best friend, Red, for their mixed match challenge match. Hey, good luck. Well, that was awkward. You don't want to read too much in anything, but it certainly looked like Red just ignored Trey altogether. Well, it's obvious Red is upset about Trey teaming with Brooklyn, but she'd better get over it fast or it's going to end up costing her team this match. As this mixed match challenge match begins, we have to consider the possibility that Red's team could end up facing Trey and Brooklyn Von Braun at some point. Well, given what we know about Brooklyn's ability to get under Red's skin, that could definitely be a volatile situation. You would think that since this whole thing's for charity, that everyone would be able to manage their emotions, but if Brooklyn triggers hot hit Red, all bets are off. Oh. Super kick. Oh my god! Oh, cool flip! This is a big risk. Will it pay off? All the way from the top rope. It's not looking good for Ruby Riot here. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. Nothing's gonna stop her now. Maintain the aggression. Ruby Riot with the reversal. And Drew McIntyre just tagged himself in. Red didn't like that. After some miscommunication on the tag, it appears Red and Drew McIntyre are having a minor disagreement. This looks like it might be more than a minor disagreement. McIntyre is walking out and leaving Red to fight on her own. Is anyone really surprised? This is what happens when two people who despise each other try to form a team. At least Aleister Black isn't going to take advantage of this situation as it looks like he's resigned to this essentially turning into a one-on-one -on -one match. Ruby Riot looking to unleash her particular brand of destruction tonight. Ruby's love of chaos makes her so dangerous with or without a squad behind her. And guys, this is a match that this London crowd likely thought they'd never see. She's taking charge here. Her offense is on point right now. Amazing reflexes on display. Not where you want to be at this point in the match, guys. Definitely not. Oof. This is incoming. Boot salt! You see that height. She's got to remember to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. Incredible agility. And she's back in the ring now. Uh oh. Ruby Riot saw that one coming and made her pay. Senton, that'll take the wind right out of you. Senton connects. Nicely done. Incredible 
standing corkscrew moonsault. Wow. And it's Ruby Riot with the reversal. Oh, saw it coming. Here we go again. What a stop to the back of the neck. She's got to be out of it now. How is Ruby Riot going to remain alive? Here's the cover for the win. One, two, three. This one's over. Here is your winner. Going to add that match to the highlight reel. Many more losses like this, and the future of Ruby Riot will look incredibly dim. Guys, I have to say, that was an amazing match. After a couple more wins for both our teams, Trey and I would be in a position we'd never been in before. Standing across the ring from each other as opponents in the finals of the Mixed Match Challenge. Good luck tonight. Seriously. Yeah, you too. Do you mean that? Because it seems like you can't bring yourself to say the actual words. I can totally say it, but now that you told me to, it won't mean as much. Come on, just say it. Good luck. Hey, look your partner. How convenient. You're talking to the opposition before our match? You do realize I could give them a competitive advantage. <laughs> My team doesn't need an advantage to beat someone who's had less than five matches. I'm pretty sure I had less than five matches when I was tapping you out in high school, and tonight will be exactly the same. Except this time, a whole lot more people will see me embarrass you. Come on, we need to discuss what we're going to do with our prize money after we win. I was thinking we donated to victims of identity heft. It's when people identify as skinny, but they're actually really fat. I think Red might have it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Westbrook, Maine, weighing in at 245 pounds, the WWE Champion, Justin Buzzsaw. Given the participants, this match might very well steal the show, guys. Yeah, and I think you could go so far as to say it has the makings of a match of the year candidate. Byron, he certainly seems to be showing more pride of late, wouldn't you say? I would, Michael, but he's got to be careful. There are more than a few whispers backstage about that pride possibly bordering on arrogance. It's the MMA juggernaut, Brooklyn Vaughn! From Fulton, New York, Brooklyn, Vaughn Braun. Let's discuss Brooklyn's nickname, the American Hero. Do you think it's disrespectful toward Kurt Angle? Of course not. There are a lot of American heroes, not just one. Kurt needs to get over himself.
the fifth dimension. If this one lives up to the hype, Byron, we're in for an amazing match here tonight. There's no reason to think this one won't live up to the hype, Michael. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE. Seems to me, guys, like she's incredibly proud of what she's been able to accomplish as of late. She should be proud, Michael. It's not easy to do what she's been able to do. But she also has to be careful not to become complacent. This is it, the finals of the mixed match. One of these teams will take home $500,000 to donate to a charity of their choice. Don't bury the lead, Cole. The charity part's nice, but the real story here is that best friends Red and Trey are facing each other for the first time ever. Things could get very interesting. Normally, I think you guys were just trying to stir up drama, but Red and Trey have definitely seemed a bit off lately, and this match certainly won't help matters. He's fighting hard, and it's paying off. He's looking relentless. Oh, man. man. He's not looking good here, guys. Oh, and Seguri. Tagged in. If you recall, guys, when Drew McIntyre first showed up here in 2009, he was anointed the chosen one. And while it may have been premature back then, I'd say McIntyre is more than living up to it nowadays. Close line! Well, that'll leave a mark. Ooh, what an impact. Drew McIntyre beginning to peter out here. Here she goes. Perched up top. Diving knee drop! That now a rolling elbow. Changes her fortune there. A striking blow. Spin kick to the midsection. Oh, looks like we're gonna see it. Finds a way to reverse. Selena Del Sol. Oh, what a counter. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Oh, heavy duty right hand. some steam now. Heading back up. Whoa. It is so easy to stay in touch with your superstars 24-7. And he's going to try it again. Will she take advantage? There's almost no rebounding from a strike like that. Three. The switch here to Drew McIntyre. Setting him up for the... Slam. Oh, nasty impact. Nasty kick to the face. He's dictating the pace of this match now, guys. He's mixing precision. He wants it one more time. And a Is it enough here? Something else it seems. He's going for the pin. 
this? What in the world is he thinking? Does he not want to win? What a shot. A striking blow. This is a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. Here we go. Oh, look at that splash! I love it. it. For the victory here. One, two, he got it. No. Oh, kick out at two. Drew McIntyre drawing on his incredible reserves right now. Very impressive, Byron. How impressive was that reversal? He's going for it all. Point of the elbow, nailed it. Great reversal. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Larian. from Drew McIntyre. Not looking good right now. Whoa, not so fast. Tagged in. She's got her. The switch here to Drew McIntyre. Running knee lift. Good. Well, look out. Attempt. One, two, I question every bit of that decision, Cole. It looked to me like he had it. Hoist it up. Down. His shoulders are down. I guess he's thinking something else here. He's clearly not thinking about winning. This match may be nearing its limit. This is all but over. Clothesline oh, takes him down. Forget about it. hope that now that this is over, there won't be any hard feelings between Red and Trey. They've been through too much together to let something like this get between them. Judging from the look on Red's face, I think that ship has sailed and she doesn't seem to be taking this very well at all. I mean, why would she? 
Red just lost to her best friend and her worst enemy. I'd be angry too. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up with you riding with her? Relax. I offered him a ride since we're both going to the gym. Nice necklace, by the way. Real classy. Thanks. I'll get you my jeweler's info. I bet he can throw together a runner-up version in no time. Look, I know we usually ride together, but I wanted to get some extra training in since Samoa Joe basically wants to strangle me to death with his crazy cyborg arm at SmackDown 1500. I'd be happy to help you work on your submissions. After all, I had a career record of 24 and 2 in MMA. I left that necklace at home. You training me is a great idea. It could help me survive Samoa Joe, and who knows, maybe even beat him. Good. We'll get started right away. And before you say anything, I'm just looking to help. It's the only way he's going to survive the Coquina Clutch. I mean, that little reversal trick you taught him might have worked in their first match, but let's face it, he needs some real training. We'll set up a time later, partner. So what, are you friends with her now? No, it's not like that. Well, it seems like that. I mean, first you're riding with her, and now you're training with her? Did you forget this is the same person who's tormented us for 20 years? I got a ride with her one time, and besides, maybe she's changed, okay? People do that. And she was a good teammate. Good enough that we won the Mixed Match Challenge. Are you trying to rub it in? Because I think your teammate's ridiculous necklace accomplished that already. And by the way, who was in charge of handling the charity money that you won? Brooklyn. She gave it to an animal shelter in our hometown. Did it ever occur to you that maybe she took the $500,000 and spent it on that awful necklace and murder coat she was wearing? I bet the animal shelter doesn't even exist. You can't assume any of that. I'm not assuming she's a terrible person. I know that. And I thought you did too. Come on. Red. That mural is kind of freaking me out. It feels like you're watching me from every angle. I am. But focus here. So when Samoa Joe gets you in the Coquina Clutch this time... Uh, how do you know he'll get me in it? It's a submission match, which means he'll be going for it early and often. So you have to be prepared. And what I was going to say before you interrupted me... Sorry, won't happen again. What I was going to say is your little trick you used against him 10 years ago when you rolled backwards to get the win isn't going to work this time. He'll be ready. And even if you pulled it off, it won't do any good because this is a submission Rivalry match. match. Rivalry submission match. Right. So I'm Samoa Joe, and I'm going to put you in the Coquina Clutch. Try to escape. I tap, I tap, I tap! Uh, that was uh, pathetic. I know. How am I ever gonna beat Samoa Joe? I mean, once she cinches in that arm around my neck, it's all over. Goodbye, WWE Championship. Goodbye, Trachea. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, big ring in the sky. Hopefully. Okay, stop. You're spiraling. It's not about his arm. It's about his legs. Huh? I studied hours of footage of Samoa Joe locking in the Coquina Clutch. You're welcome. And I discovered a hidden flaw that's going to allow you to counter it and beat him. Give me your phone. Voice password? Trey and Peyton Royce forever? Voice recognition volume too low. Please try again. Trey and Peyton Royce forever. It's a joke. Please don't tell her. Anyway, like I said, I watched a lot of tape on Samoa Joe, and I discovered this. Watch his ankles. See how he crosses them? He does it every time. That's your opening to beat him. I, I, I don't get it. Of course you don't. Let me show you. Put me in the coquina clutch and make sure you cross your ankles like Joe does. What the heck was that? The secret to not getting the life choked out of you and walking away with your WWE championship. <sighs> wow, this is weird to say with all our history, but I don't know what I'd be doing right now without your help. I guess I've been in a charitable mood lately. Well, seriously, thanks for teaching me this. So, I guess we're good to go now? Are you kidding? You haven't actually learned how to do the counter yet. On your back. We're going to start with the hip motion. I'll film on your phone so you can watch it back later. It locked again. Trey and Peyton Royce forever! Hey, 
What are you doing? Studying my training footage. I think I actually have a chance tonight, thanks to Brooklyn. Yeah, about her. I don't want to get into it again. I need to focus on my match. I actually wanted to apologize. I might have been acting a little crazy lately. A little? Okay, slightly more than a little. I called the animal shelter that Brooklyn said she donated the money to, and turns out she wasn't lying. See? I told you she's changed. I think I just got caught up with us competing against each other in the mixed match challenge. And then I felt like I was losing my best friend to pretty much the worst person I could imagine. But maybe she's not the worst person after all. There's probably some terrible dictators or criminals on death row who are slightly worse. That's very big of you to say that. So you should be cool with the fact that Brooklyn is going to be in my corner tonight then, right? I need her out there to coach me through the technique she taught me. Totally cool with that. Not bothered at all. Besides, I have a big announcement to focus on. About what? Well, I decided to get back to concentrating on the list. And there's one thing on there I always wanted to accomplish, but it never seemed possible. Especially when Brooklyn was GM. No offense to your new BFF. But since this is a very special episode of SmackDown Live, it's the perfect time to make it happen. Good luck tonight. Seriously. Hey, you finally said it. And I meant it. Tonight, we celebrate 1,500 episodes of SmackDown Live. On nights like this, we look back at the amazing superstars who helped us get here. For me, personally, when I was an awkward teenager, the thought that I could someday do this seemed like a total long shot. But I was inspired by women like Beth Phoenix, The Bellas, Natalia, and Mickey James. Around that time, I created this list of goals I'd someday want to accomplish if I ever made it to WWE. Well, I think I've more than made it. But there's one thing on this list that all those women I mentioned accomplished. But I never have, because it's kind of impossible now. But if I've learned anything on my journey, it's that nothing is truly unattainable. The goal I'm referring to is winning the title that I grew up watching. The WWE Divas Championship. Like I said, kind of hard to do considering it hasn't existed in almost 15 years. But I'm proposing that WWE bring the Divas Championship back so I can honor the women who blazed a path for me and prove that no dream is ever hopeless or unimaginable. Wait, what? And you want me to tell her right now? I'm sorry, but I was just told to inform you that the Divas Championship is already spoken for. Already spoken for? It hasn't existed in over a decade. How is that even possible? They said you would hear more in the very near future. That's all I know. What just happened? I have no idea, but apparently someone in the back has other plans for the Divas Championship. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship!
Of course, the title is on the line in this one, guys. And don't be surprised if history is made here tonight. I know the champ has looked good as of late, but I'd say the opposition has looked just as good, if not better. And by the looks of things, I would say the champ is in no mood for playing games here tonight. Nor should he be, Michael. The moment the champ takes the pedal off the medal is the moment he'll lose that title. The most dangerous man in WWE today. Samoa Joe is a man who has never made an idle threat. One of the most dangerous competitors ever to step into the squared circle. If there is hostility, if there is tension to be had, Samoa Joe will be the first one in line. A lethal hybrid of size, speed, technique, and agility. Samoa Joe is second to none. Introducing the challenger. This match between Trey and Samoa Joe is finally happening tonight on SmackDown. 1,500 after nearly a decade of anticipation. I don't think Trey was anticipating this as much as Samoa Joe, especially considering it's a submission match, which definitely favors Joe and his Coquina clutch. Whoa, he, he works his way out. That'll cost some teeth. The champ getting put to the test here. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Boom. He might have been waiting on that one. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Knife edge chop! Ooh that will get your attention. Oh, a flurry of strikes! Oh, strike to the side of the face. Boom! Ho, ho, ho. He's definitely being the aggressor here. He is getting fired up here. Using the elbow as a weapon. Ooh, oh, Corey, he unloaded there. He evades the attack. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Stomping. Ouch. Oh, kick to the face. Nice monkey flip. Championship on the line. And Samoa Joe locks in the Coquina clutch. Trey's attempting a counter. What's the matter? Not like you planned. It looked like Trey attempted a counter to the Coquina Clutch that Brooklyn must have taught him, but for whatever reason, it just didn't work. It's over. It may not be the Universal Championship that Trey defeated him for seven years ago, but Samoa Joe gets the vindication he was looking for as he is the new WWE Champion. What the hell? Was this 
some kind of setup all along. It had to be. A hindsight's 2020, but Brooklyn Von Braun's change of heart was way too good to be true. Saxton, you said Brooklyn was going to be the difference maker tonight, and you were right for once. If she and Samoa Joe have formed an alliance, and it would appear that they have, Red and Trey's lives are going to be changed forever. I really don't need to hear I told you so right now. All you're gonna hear from me is I hope you're okay. I'll be all right. I just feel so stupid. You're not stupid. You're trusting and a good person. That's what separates you from people like her. Like, I appreciate it, but I still can't believe I let my guard down like that. You were right about everything. We'll make her pay for this. I promise. <sighs>